Saint Ignatius was an early church father who wrote on the sanctity of Mary, the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist, and obedience to bishops. He was martyred by the Emperor Trajan in about the year 107 AD. As a young man, he was taught by St. John the Apostle himself, and it is even said that when he was an infant, he was held by Christ himself in the Gospel of Mark. Though this is likely not true, seeing as St. Ignatius was born in around 50 AD. Ignatius is appointed Bishop of Antioch by Peter, and one of the most notable things he does are his seven letters to the churches in Asia Minor, where he focuses on the sanctity of Mary, and he's a strong advocate for Christians to obey their bishops in order to set themselves apart from heresies. Man heresy during the time of Ignatius is docetism, and the way that Ignatius fights docetism is by telling Christians that the bishops are divinely inspired, that the bishops and the pope are divinely inspired, and these heresies are not. But the main thing that Ignatius writes about is the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist. And this is something that many Christians didn't really understand, and it led to a lot of controversy in the early church, but this is something that Ignatius had a really good understanding of, and it's something that he wrote about often. Ignatius lives through the bloody persecutions of Diocletian, but encounters a new wave of persecution through the Emperor Trajan. Trajan, fresh off a military victory, states that you have to pay tribute to the state gods. You can worship whoever you want, but you have to pay tribute to the state gods. And this is obviously a problem for St. Ignatius and for Christians, so he decides to meet with Trajan. So St. Ignatius meets with Trajan to defend his faith, and Trajan decides that St. Ignatius is too dangerous and must be put to death. And St. Ignatius believes that this is a honor, and he welcomes his martyrdom. St. Ignatius sees his martyrdom as a blessing. So he must go from Antioch all the way to Rome so he can be mauled by lions in the Colosseum. And on his way to Rome, thousands of people stop and talk to him. They stop to visit him and listen to him speak. So finally, Ignatius is brought to Rome and into the Colosseum. At the end of the day, the lions are set loose and Ignatius kneels to the ground and prays as the lions maul him to death. And thus ends the story of St. Ignatius of Antioch.